Hey guys, Ivan here, and we are starting today's video with a, well, with a freaking impressive physique update of Urs Kaletsinski. This guy is right now, I guess, in his off-season. I mean, I don't know, he has any shows in plan anytime soon. I mean, he is qualified for the Mr. Olympia. He qualified by placing third and also by winning multiple shows. I think two shows after the Mr. Olympia. Yeah, he didn't win the Arnold or the other Arnold, but he is qualified. So, I don't know if he plans on doing any shows, but right now... He is looking ripped and freaking big as well. I'm gonna show you a video in a second, but I also gotta say it's reasonable that he's so lean because he often speaks about his. He can't eat too much in the off season because when he eats, he grows like wheat. I mean, he eats a little bit of carbs, a little bit more, and he blows up the next day. Check out the physique right here. So very, very impressive. This guy is added to the Pittsburgh Pro guest posing list. He's gonna be guest posing with all the other open guys, and I mean, he's gonna look smaller than them, I'm sure, but I don't think he's gonna be much less impressive because of his shape, because of his structure, and especially because of this crazy conditioning. And after losing that Arnold Classic and even losing to Brion Ainsley, it doesn't seem like he's losing hope or stopping uh, or losing any momentum. It feels like he's still very much driven to become the best Classic Physique in the world. Is that possible? Well, I mean, looking at his physique update right here, he doesn't look like he can't beat guys like Ramondino or Wesley Wissers. But there are a couple of things about that. First of all, I think he's heavier, much heavier here than he is when he needs to compete in a classic physique. I think he's definitely way above his weight cap here, so he can't look this big, this full in classic physique. Unfortunately, the weight cap is too low for him, for his structure. When he makes the weight, and for example, Wesley Wissers makes the weight, Wesley looks so much bigger. So there's that. The other thing is, this is in the gym, under like some really good lighting, and you know, a crazy lighting, and also he probably has a pump. But then again, bodybuilding stages should also have really good lighting and these guys should be also pumped. So what is the problem? I guess the bigger problem is the fact that he is not allowed to weigh this much, to be this big as he is right here in this in this posing in the gym. Now, I mean, of course, he's, not, he's probably not as lean as he gets when he's on stage, but I think this conditioning is pretty much there. Maybe like, I don't know, maybe a little bit drier, but I mean, I prefer this look, honestly than the dried out one when he's on stage. He usually loses a lot of his fullness, a lot of his size. And I mean, here he's rebounding from the shows, from the Arnold Classics. And also, I think he spoke about how the prep for the Arnold Classic wasn't exactly perfect, and that's why he didn't look his best. And he rebounded after that. He had some food, he relaxed a little, he had some rest. And it looks like his body responded really well to that. Also, he took a break from social media. So he probably rested, you know, mentally and physically, and his body is responding very, very nicely right now. Now, in the comments here, Fuad left a very interesting comment, and I think it makes a lot of sense. He says, open, 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 more cookies, meaning move to the open, eat more food, get as big as possible, and switch to the open division. I mean, we all know how much Urs wants to win the Mr. Olympia. I mean, it's difficult to say to win the Mr. Olympia as long as Chris Blumstead is competing, but like to become the number one guy uh, as long as Chris is not there. You know, he wants that classic physique Mr. Olympia title or at least our own classic title. And I don't think he's gonna stop. I don't think he's gonna go to the open, but could he go to the open? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think last year. Urs actually took a little bit of an off-season, an actual off-season. He ate a lot of food and he got up to, I believe, 270. Guys, 270 with this conditioning. 270 for a guy of his height, and I think he's like maybe 5'9 and 270 on that frame, especially with this conditioning, is heavy, is a lot of weight, is a lot of muscle. So me personally, I'm 6'2 and I just got to 270, like 269. And, I mean, it was so, so difficult to get here. I was eating so much food. I was really forcing it. I was really pushing it. And I'm six foot two again. And I was not. I'm not in this kind of conditioning. So Urs got to this size so easily. And from what I heard, he wasn't really forcing food that much. Like, he was just eating relaxed. So when he wants to maintain weight for classic physique in the off-season, he basically needs to starve himself the entire year. 
And I'm assuming he's taking certain things to keep his weight low. So what I'm trying to say is his body wants to grow. It wants to get big. It can get big and it wants to do that. He's preventing it from getting there because he wants the classic physique, but his body wants bodybuilding open. And also, it happened multiple times by now. We see physique updates of Wurz in the offseason and he seems improved. His arms look bigger, his back looks improved, but when he steps on the stage, he always looks pretty much the same, at least size-wise, because the weight gap is always the same for him and he's already a long time ago at the weight gap. And look at Wesley Wissers. Wesley looks so much bigger. Even Ramon can actually look big. I think he was below his weight cap here quite a bit. So Urs, I mean, he's obviously great for classic physique. I mean, he was top three at the Mr. Olympia. He was top two at the Iron Classic. I mean, he's phenomenal for sure. No doubt about that. He's an amazing classic physique and he probably shouldn't. I think he shouldn't move to the Open because he's so good. He's up there. He's very good at this, and on any given day, the way he looks, the way he looks for a couple of years, if other guys are off, if he gets a little bit lucky, maybe he can place higher, you know? So I am not saying he should retire from classic physique and move to the open. All I'm saying is that he could, he probably could do that. He is one of the guys who could probably grow enough muscle and be successful in the open division one day. Maybe, maybe, but it's a very, very risky decision, because once you go to the open, there is no coming back to classic, it doesn't work that way, it goes only one direction. You can get bigger and go from classic to the open, but coming down from open to classic, you guys saw it many, many times, it never works out as well. Because these guys, they blow their waist when they get big. And when they downsize, they just lose muscle and their waist size stays the same. So it never works out. Once he makes a decision, if he does, to move to the open, that's where he stays for the rest of his career. Me personally, I would love to see that happen. But it's probably not going to. Maybe towards the end of his career. Maybe he gets tired of staying small in the offseason and not being able to eat and having to die down so hard and make the weight. And he eventually decides to leap forward. What do you guys think? Can he do it? Should he do it? And what do you guys think what he looks like right now? Two weeks out of Pittsburgh Pro Guest Posing. Is he going to be smoked by the Open guys or will he hold his own? Alright, the next physique update is very, very interesting. William Bonek finally found a really good spot to take the photos. All of his previous physique updates were at some horrible spot with like horrible lighting and he looked really bad. Finally, he found some really good lighting and we can see what is happening with his physique. And this was posted by his coach. And if you guys didn't know, he's coached by Boss of Outlaw or Stefan Kinzel. Uh, he says here, halftime in William Bonnock's prep, it's incredible at which speed his body can change and I'm absolutely happy so far. And then he speaks about the next competitive season. So as you guys know, William Bonnock is prepping for the Spain Pro and Pro Cup and he's going to be facing Becher Stabani and Michal Krizio. Can he beat these guys? Can he come back that good? I mean, the odds are not really in his favor, but after seeing these photos... I gotta say, I am pretty much impressed. I mean, William Bonac had his best 2019 version. That beats Grigio. I'm pretty sure about that. That was top two at a Mr. Olympia, guys. And top two at the Arnold Classic. And actually, he won the Arnold Classic, I think, three times, including the Arnold Classic Australia. So, he was a phenomenal bodybuilder back in the day. Of course, he's not at his peak anymore. He's older. And I think he lost some leg size. That was the biggest issue. And lately, he didn't nail his conditioning for the last couple of shows. But now, with this new coach, a very, very good coach, I must say, I think he will do much better than the last time. Now, let's check out this physique update. First shot, most muscular. Upper body looks amazing. Big, full, really good condition. Lower body, like I told you, the last time he competed, the legs was the issue. Uh, he had a hamstring injury and he was not able to train his legs very hard. And it was visible, it was showing on stage, and I think we can still see some consequences from that. I don't think his legs are back to his full size, but I think they look improved. I think they do look fuller. I mean, when you lose your legs at that age, they never come back, really. But I think in this case, they are a little bit improved. Now, as Stefan says, they're only halfway there, so once conditioning comes along, his legs are also going to look better. 
As far as the upper body and the flow of the entire physique, I think the improvements are definitely there. I would say he looks better than I expected, and probably it looks like he's gonna bring something better than his previous couple of uh, showings. As you can see from the back, he looks good, like he always had a really good back, like really, really a lot of muscle on that back, really dense, really thick uh, conditioning, as I said, is coming along, he's only halfway there, um, back, again, very, very good, back double bicep looks amazing, so, like, it's gonna be, this guy's definitely a threat to the title of Ampro Cup. You know, Krizio's gonna have his hands full. Bonex physique is much different than that of Krizio. Like, he's a shorter, blockier, but really muscular, really full, really dense bodybuilder. So, it's gonna be a battle, that's for sure. Look at the side chest as well. Definitely improved. Upper body, especially legs, they're coming along. They're probably gonna be weaker than him at his best, but potentially good enough to win this show and, you know, do relatively well at a Mr. Olympia. I mean, what is well for William Bonner, who was second at the Mr. Olympia, you know, top 7, top 8, I don't think that's success for him, but I think he knows he can't expect much better than that, and that's where I see him land, inside of the top 10, not exactly 10th, not exactly in the top 6, but like, maybe somewhere around 8th position, what do you guys think? Alright, we got a little quick physique update from Nick Walker, just a Jim Mirror selfie, nothing special, he says, everybody wants to preach the right way to train, how about this, train with intensity? Odds are, you're probably not training as intense as you think. Very simple message from Nick Walker, and a good one. I think he's just taking these photos, not thinking too much about it, just writing whatever comes to his mind, and he leaves it there. He never really responds to the comment, I don't think he reads the comments. So, I mean, he's doing a great job, honestly, what he comes up with is great, it's perfect, and this selfie is looking amazing as well, he looks super thick, super lean for this moment in time, in two weeks out of New York Pro, and again, the size he added in this previous offseason, I think it's definitely showing right now, I don't think he was ever this big, he looks like a freaking block of muscle right here, right now. And I think the point of this selfie is showing his waist size. And yeah, when he takes his selfies this way, he pulls his uh, pants down low and uh, he finds the angle. Yeah, he makes his waist look uh, decent, but like he is definitely not a small waist guy. <laughs> not by any chance. He is definitely the guy with like the widest waist, but with all of his muscle, with his presentation, with his blocks of, of, of muscle of the abs, you just forget about his waist size. And he shouldn't even try and make a point by making these kind of selfies, he should just be, you know, what he is, a monster, a freak, and even in this selfie he looks freaky and monsterish, no doubt about that, so I think it's gonna be a very easy win for him at the New York Pro, and as far as the Pittsburgh Pro guest posing, I think he's gonna embarrass a couple of people, we'll see about that. And for the end of this video, I'll leave you off with a little bit of a training clip of Rich Gaspari, I wasn't planning on doing this anymore, but I just had to when I saw this. What is Rich doing with his reverse grip uh, Scott Bench curls? Uh, he's literally lowering the bar down at the point where the tension starts to happen and he immediately goes back. If he lowered the weight and used less, uh, half of this, let's say, he could do a full range of motion, at least a little bit more, and uh, this would make sense doing this exercise. And whenever I watch these videos, it always makes me think about the same thing. Did he train like this when he became second best bodybuilder in the world? because I highly doubt it, if you guys saw any training videos of Ridley's party when he was younger, tell me down below, is this the way he was always training, because, I mean, I really don't think so, you can't look like that, training this way, but you can look like this, and of course, he's, I think he's like 60, or more than 60 right now, so for his age, he looks great, sure, like his body fat percent is very low, and in the comment here, Flex says that he traveled with him so many times, that he always eats, like, every two hours, he always trains, he never misses a bit, and, uh, I mean, his conditioning is good, but, like, he lost all of his muscle, could he look better, could he have more muscle if he trained a better way, maybe, maybe, but maybe not, maybe he's at that point where he cannot gain any muscle back, I don't know, but his conditioning is looking great, he has abs, which is more than what most people of his age have, or our age, really, my abs are not looking like this right now, I'm not this lean, so props to him for that, anyways guys, you tell me what do you think down below in the comment section, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, for more stuff like this guys, subscribe to this channel, thank you so much for watching, see you soon, all the best, and bye bye.